Fern, a 10-month-old boxer who's well on her way to being a PTSD service dog. This is some of the regular day-to-day -day training we do to get her accredited. Fern, place. 50 to 70% of Fern's food comes straight out of my hands. And in this case, I like to start her day with a puzzle. She has to work to get the food out of the treat, and this helps wake her up and get her engaged. It also gives me a chance to eat a little bit of breakfast. You want more? <laughs> you want more treat? More treat puzzle? You want to go fill it up? All right. Next, I have to prepare some high-value treats to mix in with her regular dinner so that she's engaged when we're out in public doing her training. Thank you. The first trip of the day is always to somewhere relatively familiar so I can get her to understand that she's at work. In this case, we're at the post office and she was pretty happy to see some of the people walking past before quickly getting her re-engaged to head back to the car. Burn. Heal. Yes. For the first time ever, Vern, we are going to try escalators. How do you feel about that? You excited? Every single day, I try and introduce Fern to new things. Some of these things in the human world can be incredibly overwhelming for a dog, escalators being one of them. So I was curious to see how she'd go. Escalators. And I move. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey. You did it. <laughs> You're happy about it too. <laughs> yeah. It dismounts the hard part. All right. Ready? Good girl. <laughs> After all the morning training, it's time for the creek and a bit of relaxed time with her best mate. Yeah. Fern is really good at just stepping on sluices and pans and everything else. Isn't she, Mick? Best at it. <laughs> Once we're home, we build up our engagement. We do that through a special toy she only gets during these practice sessions. In this case, Rex is helping provide a distraction for her so I can teach her to be engaged with me. Then we move on to solo work and start adding in commands. Give, sit, place, breathe. And after such a big day, it's not long before she's absolutely knackered and ready for dinner. She gets a mixture of Prime 100 wet food, high quality dry food, as well as some human food to keep things interesting. Fair. Service dogs will be expected to wait in positions with their humans in places such as doctor's offices, and therefore she has to wait for her food while I clean up. Great. This is just a small taste of some of the obedience training I do with Fern every single day. You enjoy trouble. <laughs> <laughs>